Let's talk about aliens. Hi, Steve. Welcome to the show. What can we help you with today? Steve? Uh, so They've abducted him. Oh. So I wanted, to say, I wanted to talk about aliens. I, I see that. I see mm -hmm. that. What about them? So, uh, so me, me and my boys have always talked about this topic for a while now. We, we, we were thinking, like, you know, like, how, how would they look like? And how come, and how come we haven't seen any, you know, straight evidence of these, like, like, like beings, right? So mm -hmm. what I was wondering is, like, your thoughts. Like, do you think there's any type of other beings out there that are not human that are maybe on Earth or not? Like, do, like, what do you think about? V, can I can I say something first? Go for it, Jenny. And you're probably thinking this is a this is a proper call for truth wanted, right? That's what you're thinking, V and folks in the audience in YouTube land. But actually, it can tie into the subject matter of this show because a, a Catholic friend of mine, good buddy, Patrick, I hope you're not watching, um, has said, if you don't believe in God, do you believe in the existence of aliens? Because you have all this data about the the percentage of, star, of stars out there that have habitable or potentially habitable planets and the odds and the likelihood and all this kind of stuff. So. Do you believe that aliens exist, right? Or do you are, are you agnostic about about them, or are you an a atheistic about the existence of aliens? And I say, well, I think aliens probably do exist, but is that a tenet of faith on my part? Because I have no evidence of aliens; I just have s statistics, right? Um, so, is that where you're going with this? Uh, or is this a straight up, what do aliens look like? Yeah, like just, yeah, like no, no, nothing, nothing like that, like faith and stuff, just like, just like in, in general, you know, like, I'm not trying to explain it. I just, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Um, they look like black blobs that are on the existence of an arid planet. Don't get too close because you'll get absorbed into it and Tasha Yar will die. I don't know what aliens look like, man. Um, if they exist at all. Depends on the budget, really. Yeah, depends on the budget. <laughs> yeah, uh, Steve, I'm going to say that probably based on my very basic understanding of how abiogenesis and evolution happens on life uh, supporting planets it's possible that there are things that we would classify as living beings on planets that are not this one do i think that they are walking among us probably not um do i think that we are going to find people out there who look anything like us a carbon-based life form with this many orifices no I don't think that's the case. I think that that is a beautiful, beautiful fantasy. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. I know that in 2063, there will be no Vulcans showing up on planet Earth. But uh, not yeah. in my canon. <clears throat> I, I, I guess that's the answer to your question. Anything else today? Well, do, 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 you, do you think the government knows anything about because they keep teasing something about like Mars, like underground alien bases or something like there's there's like i, got, all these I think two that words for you truth wanted my friend call in on fridays at 7, 7. p.m central call it yep. 6 30. do yourself a we've got in. yeah we've got another show that talks specifically about this kind of thing this is more of a god and religion related show uh i will just say for the record that i do not think the government knows anything about aliens because if they did trump would have told us <laughs> Because he cannot keep his mouth shut. Ooh, All right. Because he, he speaks. Yeah, he speaks in my. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Thanks for calling man. in, Steve. Uh, go check out Truth Wanted. I think it's more up your alley. All right. That was an interesting call. We don't get many alien-related calls on this show. No, not enough. Not nearly enough. Mm -mm. Also, I'm noticing that a lot. In fact, all of these callers so far have been men. Pretty yeah, what's sure. Up with that? Hmm? Yeah. Give us give us some give us some diversity up in here, you guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Call in. We want to talk to you. If you are mm -hmm. a lady and a theist or a non-binary or Thank you. person as a Thank theist, you, that yes. would be fun. All right. We are going to be thanking the patrons now. I am refreshing this page if I can find the refresh button on a Mac that isn't mine. <clears throat> All right. 
Guys, seriously, the ACA could not do what we do without all of you. Um, you liking the show, you watching the show every week, hitting that thumbs up, sharing it out, clicking that bell. All of those things are ways that you are actively helping us get bigger. We hit 80,000 subscribers last week, and that is all you guys, right? Whether or not you donate, whether or not you give 50 cents or $100, this is because of you. And the top five patrons this week are Eric Tweet, Desert Heathen, Bethany P, Ward Knippling, and Balam's Donkey. And of course, as always, we give the shout out to Dingleberry Jackson. Um, and you know what? Paul Leah is actually tied with Dingleberry. So thank you, Paul. Appreciate you. All right. Um, if you are interested in knocking down any one of those top five from their perch, which they have inhabited for quite a long time, uh, feel free to up your donation. We won't be mad. <laughs>